let's take a look at Southord's Padlock Shim Set. This is the SPS 20 and inside of the box you're going to get 20 different shims. There's four different sizes so of course you get five of each size. If you take a close look at these, these are all spring steel and you'll notice unlike some of the cheap knockoffs these have been folded over on the top so that they're not going to be sharp. They're wide enough where you can put a lot of pressure on them without damaging your fingers. Um, we have, as I said, four different sizes. Well, Let's get a couple of tips and I'll show you how to size these things. We're going to choose this Yale as our victim. This is an old lock. It is shimmable. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to choose the correct size. Uh, if you take a look, this is the small size. And you'll notice that it doesn't quite fit up against the shackle there. So we're going to try to go larger. This looks like a large. So we'll choose the large size shim. And when you put him up there, you'll notice he's just a little too big. So we'll go down one size until it fits just as close as it can. We want to give ourselves a really good chance. And this size fits very, very well. The other thing you want to take, check to give yourself a good chance of success is look at the size of the gaps. For example, on the left side you'll notice a very wide gap. On the right side it's really tight. Well, we want to try to shim the tight side first. And to help guarantee it, go ahead and give it a little bit of lube. That'll make your job just a little bit easier to squeeze these tight shims into that tight space. So, the way we do it, you can either try to attack it from the top, or you can go on the side and then try to roll it around. This is a tight lock, very good tolerances. And I may have to try do a combination of rolling to get it in there. It is started, and once it starts, generally you can push with both fingers and get it to work in place. And there you go, it slid right down there. Now we're going to take the same size shim, and now we're going to attack, we still have a pretty good gap, not quite as wide as we had earlier. Slide him in there and try to work him in place as well. Rolling him back and forth to overcome that spring-loaded locking pawl. Sometimes it's easier to use two fingers to get him to slide in there. Once you've got him in place, push it down as far as you can get it and then pull on the shackle and there you are. A high quality lock like this Yale, you can do it with these shims. Try to imagine all the other locks. So if you're looking for a high quality set of lockpick shims, take a look at the Southward SPS 20.